how to sell services on Shopify. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can sell services on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, there are a lot of people that are looking to create their Shopify stores and you don't understand how are you supposed to sell services? Well, I'm going to go through this step by step. It's very easy and very simple. So first off, there is no default way to add services. You are supposed to add services as products on Shopify. So this is the first step. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set it up, but just go ahead and log on to your Shopify account. Once you've logged on to your Shopify account, click on products and you can even build collections. Now, uh, I won't do this. I will be removing any pre-existing ones because for me, I'm trying to build an online fitness center website and I'm providing online coaching. So I have to sell my services online. So I don't want to, you know, add any collections on that. But once you have, you know, your product section open, you're going to click on add your products and you're going to copy and paste exactly what service you're selling. So for me, I'm selling online fitness training or just fitness training you don't even have to maybe you're providing fitness training so whatever it is i have fitness training then i have my description and i'm just going to copy and paste it you're going to add it as you normally would for any kind of um service so whatever your service is just normally add all the information once you have that you're going to scroll down you can choose to add media files so if it's a service where you have some reference images you can choose to add that if you don't, that's totally up to you as well. Then you're going to add your pricing. Now, before I get into pricing, I'm going to um, just customize uh, a little section on my website because I want to change the pricing to US dollars. And I'm just going to refresh my product page. I'm just normally adding it as I would. Copy and paste your description. Now, once you've added that, you can add your price. So let's say I do this for a $20 for a regular session. And maybe I do a cardio plus fitness training session, which is $40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. Once you've added your price, you can choose to charge tax or not. Then you have your shop location. So you have your track quantity. I'm not going to track quantity. And below that, you have physical product. So you can click on digital product or service just like that and you don't have to worry about shipping details at checkout nothing of that sort will appear to your customers now once you do that you can still add multiple variants so uh, you can click on add options like this and you can choose a specific option now although the option name is going to look very weird so you can add style and in that you can add things like a cardio plus fitness session is one variant or just fitness session and maybe for cardio plus fitness session i sell it at uh 25 dollars just like that and now i've just saved my product and just like that i have created my service now if i click on my online store over here go into my product section or my section over here i have fitness training and this is like my service uh our online store is offering you an exciting way reaching your exercise goals all of that stuff and then i can click on the second variant to get you know the second item like that i can click on buy it now over here and you know you can set up your entire checkout now, in your page over here, if you want to add more information, more details about your service, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people try to add, but you don't understand how you're supposed to, you know, fit all of that in. Well, if you want to fit all of that in, so if you want to fit more information about your service, which you definitely might want to do, you guys are going to use uh, MetaField. So I'm going to click on show all on the MetaField section and we have multiple different MetaFields. I am going to remove these pre-existing ones and add new ones and related to services. So to do that, all you have to do is click on settings on the bottom left, scroll down, click on custom data, and then you have your settings. Now in your settings, you're going to go into products, and then you have your multiple different definitions. So I added these previously, but I'm going to remove these because I no longer need them. 
and let's say that you want to add your variants or you want to add you know uh, anything that you might want to add like your um, custom field so maybe you want to add you know a section where your customers or your clients are able to add their custom requests to their services uh, to your Shopify store they can directly add it over there and they don't have to you know contact you by email and then wait for that entire communication process instead directly when they're placing their order they can have this section where they can add you know any customizations they want to their service so you're going to click on add definition add a name so you can click on customization to service then you're going to select the type now this is totally up to you uh you can add like a page and in that page you can enter like a open field text to um for people to be able to easily enter the text that they want uh you can use a pop-up widget as well do this entire thing uh you can also you know refer pe people to another page where they can you know take a look at the variable customizations you do offer so it's totally up to you uh i would usually use like a single line text and then i have you know my value of the text that i can add as well i'm going to just click on save and now if i go back onto my page over here um once i've added like my meta field i can go onto my online store click on themes i'm going to click on customize click on my products page which is actually my service page and go to my default product i'm going to remove any of the pre-existing sections that i don't need anymore and you can click on add block over here and you can add you know any kind of block you want like text and when you add text you can click on that block on the left side of your screen and you can input more information about your product and then you can click on insert dynamic source and you can add any kind of meta field you want so let's say i want to add a specific meta field i can choose to add that over here you can just overall choose to enter more information about your service directly from the website editor and in this way you can sell your services on shopify so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with selling your services on uh, shopify make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.